Hi guys, Dane Verway here from Run Culture, physiotherapist and uh, running Nuffy. Uh, I've made this video because a lot of runners are unsure what to do with their arms when they run. Um, just recently I've come across these things called propulsors, which are literally uh, glorified uh, maracas or drink bottles with water in them. Uh, by a, a, fa a fantastic inventor that I follow, David Weck in America, who came up with the BOSU ball. What they do is if you put them in your hands uh, when you run, and I'm not sure if you've ever run a marathon with a bottle in your hand, but you can feel the weight shift in the maraca, and I feel like that weight shift helps our proprioceptive feel of our arms, and where they are in space, and what they are doing, and where our weight is in space. And in an effect, not only just from this feel, increased feel, but the audible sound, as you'll hear, they make a nice sound. And because of that nice sound, we can run to the music and the metronome. And I've found them very useful uh, over the last couple of months as I started to use them to try to integrate people's arms with their body and their body with their legs so that they run better with their whole body. If we look to the Kenyans, as a good source of inspiration, as we should, because they just move so beautifully as distance runners and they look like they're dancing with the ground. They're so fluid, their timing's so good. They've got great rhythm. And I think that's what um, some bottles with water in, or maracas, can help us create some rhythm. Now when uh, I see a lot of runners, uh, often I feel that they're either very too stiff through their torso or they use their arms in a far too exaggerated motion, like really stiff and robotic, uh, or across their body. There's so many variations, and like I said, this video is not a hard science. It's merely teaching you uh, a training adjunct, or a drill, or, a, or an exercise, and then you might be more proprioceptive aware of what your arms are doing and what your body is doing in space, and it might be really helpful so that you can integrate your arms and your body so that you get better timing with the ground and just, yeah, we move more like, more like Kenyans. Um, I'm not trying to copy Kenyans because everyone you know, comes from different injury history, um, different body shapes and sizes, uh, you know, periods of sedentariness and we're early in our running journey. If we just keep changing our mechanics radically, uh, quickly, we often end up injured, but often if we just do it slowly and we sort of, uh, you know, use the Kenyan technique as, you know, a bit of source of inspiration. I feel like you can do this drill and get a bit of a better feel and perhaps you're just a better mover and you're less likely to get injured because you're just more efficient, more economical, using your body better, dispersing stress better, um, and uh, just landing in better positions, in more economical positions where they're better able to accept and attenuate and distribute load. Okay, so uh, how do you use these? Uh, well, when I was listening to David Wex um, uh, explain how he uses them, he really uses the feel of the weight and the fall of the weight to really uh, feel where you're holding your body. Now, he tends to feel that we should move with our head over the stance leg, head over the stance leg, head over the stance leg, and we should feel the, the down, the double down of our hands um, as, as we uh, run that down at the fall of the pitch of the, of the foot onto the ground, so that initial contact. And then if we can feel that better, we can time our muscles synergi synergistically together better, like an orchestra of muscle contraction, so that we can be on the ground and off the ground quickly and harness our elastic potential as runners, which is uh, a void of the need for much oxygen and energy. So it's economically the best way to run, elastically through our connective tissue and our tendons. So it just creates that better timing and that better whole body feel. Okay, running's not just a lower leg, leg sport, it's a whole body sport. Okay, so now if I was to show you um, what he tends to suggest, he said get into a crouch and just at first pretend, pretend you're doing the drums. So imagine you're just hitting the drums with loose hands, loose hands into the ground, and you're shifting your weight onto left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, okay? So just playing the drums in a squat. 
So down, 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 down. Now you don't see anyone running like this, do you? Like just with their hands playing like the drums. But if we start to integrate that into a bit more running arms and we still feel that fall onto our stance leg and we turn it into a walk and a bit of a march. You, can sit, sit. you still want that weight shift, you don't want to be perfect like that and see how it just becomes so disjointed and we're not in that nice flowy kind of state. And you often see those nice Kenyans are just nice and loose and then you turn it slowly into more of a run but still want to have that weight shift and still want to have that double down so you can slow it down or speed it up depending on how you're going. And if you're struggling just turn it back into the drums and the weight shift. So, yeah, and then you slowly feel like you're getting one arm back, one arm forward, just like the running gait. Yeah. And then you slowly turn it into a run. I'll show you on the treadmill in a tip, but you still want that fall and that feel of the rhythm, of the rhythm onto the foot, onto the stance foot. So head over the stance foot and rhythm over the stand to it. So down, 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 yeah. That's good just to do it on the spot for you. And you can go out and start using something like this even on an easy job to really get the hang of it. Yeah, and slow it down. Yeah, so down. And feel the weight shift. And feel your body. And feel your body move. Yeah, so I'm not trying to make it like that. But just be less robotic and stiff. Yeah, and then also less. Like, so, yeah, we want to brush our forearm by our side and sort of form, sort of along the bottom of the rib cage, like rub, you know, from your hand to your elbow, just your forearm, just loosely in by your side, nice and tucked in, nice and efficient and relaxed, and loose hands. And feel that double down, double down, double down, double down, double down. Yep. So head over the foot, head over the foot, head over the foot, head over the foot, and then double down on the rackers. Yep. The rackers and head. Yep. And it should make you feel poppy. You run with these, and David West suggests that you feel like you sprint faster. And I've certainly done it, and you do feel more poppy, it just gets your timing good. So it's like, when we move to music, we move better because we've sort of got a bit more of an acoustic um, uh, sensory input too that helps our rhythm and our timing. So not only do we have the proprioceptive weight shift in our hands, and our hands feel like a bit more tiny, a bit more substance, and then we can also feel that through our core a bit more. Um, yeah, but we've also got the audible feedback as well. Alright, so I'm going to do this um, on the treadmill now, just to give you a bit of a demo. So bear with me. Alright. So I've boosted up to 12 kilometers an hour. So just uh, yeah, five minute days, and then put that hand just yep, loosely, the brush is loosely in the hand, and then just that nice weight shift. You start doing it slowly, and then you just work up. I feel like it's helping me shift my body weight onto my leg, getting that nice sort of digital rhythm through my torso, and that weight shift. I'm also getting that double down, that sweep of the wrist and the weight as I hit the leg, as the feet on the ground. I'm getting a bit more of that timing and that pop out of my elastic system. And this example is going to be slower. You learn it, go and slow up there. Loose hands. And then just that slow. Double down, double down, double down. Head over foot, head over foot. And just feel it, you're getting that pop. And then you just fiddle with the weight. Um, throw the feet. And just get more used to feeling it. Then 
come on, get rid of the ramp. Yeah, just, just giving you that nice appeal as you run of your arms and your weight. So, yeah, just that nice rhythm shift up top, nice and small, but also that where you, so this is great for distance runners, great for sprinters, um, you know, obviously you have a more exaggerated arm drive, but you still got that point where you go down, 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 down. Yeah, um, and that down on both arms, down, 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 is when your foot strikes, foot strikes, foot strikes, foot strikes, and sort of that, that, um, that connectedness of your whole body. Um, yeah, so obviously there's a lot more to running. Um, this is just one cue, and it's not a hard science, like I said, but it's something to think about, and maybe putting some maracas in your hands helps that feel, because um, sometimes that what we have to do, we have to just change do some things differently so that our brain goes, oh, hang on, I can feel that better. And then it knows that, you know, that movement pattern is there uh, rather than being left dormant. And then suddenly, the more you do it, you're like, oh yeah, I feel like a bit poppy. Um, and then once you get used to it, you're like, oh yeah, maybe, you know, that is something that I could utilize um, as part of my arsenal in becoming a better runner and a more efficient runner. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope it's useful. Um, yeah, would love to hear any questions or feedback. Um, yeah, try the maracas out.